Philippine vloggers, it's all about the money. Or is it? Uh, I'd have to say, for the majority of vloggers, it's got nothing to do with money whatsoever. Um, I know, like, Top Top Kali, it's mainly for his family, because um, obviously he's got family overseas and stuff, so of course they want to know what you're up to. In the same way, I know other people are like myself, crappy just to share our life experiences. If we touch on the topic of business, etc., it's not about making money from the YouTube channel, but maybe actually trying to educate people in the fact that you can make money in other ways. Um, you don't have to accept that there's only one way to live your life and the opportunities to do more is available. Because the majority of expat vloggers don't actually make a lot of money. And even the ones that are bigger than this channel, for example, um, aren't breaking a thousand dollars a month. Uh, you've got some that are very specific in the way that they've done it. Um, and I know some of those are making over $30,000 a month, but at the same time, they're manipulating a different way. See, I don't actually manipulate things on here. You, you hear things come out of my mouth which aren't PC correct. They're not gonna suit all audiences, but you'll find on some of the other channels that make bigger money, it's done that way. It's a bit like having a cat. Because, I mean, even the cat images are a prime example. Because what, what happened with the cats is there was a forum, well, there is a forum called of Something Awful. And they sort of manipulated all those silly cat images and photos. It's, uh, what's that, Icon Cheeseburger or whatever. Um, they were sort of to show, that, show how stupid the internet was and how easy it was to manipulate. So they were like sharing, liking, blah, 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 all these stupid photos on purpose uh, just to show the way the internet is so easily fed and look at it now. Everybody's seen the cat photos at some point. That, that's the point. If you manipulate in specific ways, you can do that. Me, I detest it. Um, I'm, uh, the dumbing down stuff just irritates me. So for me, it doesn't suit. But some people like doing it, and I, I've got nothing against them doing it. Um, they're just trying to please an audience, where I'm not actually trying to please anybody. Um, I'm more in the mindset of, if you want a different life, the opportunity is there. If you want to go to the Philippines, there's nothing stopping you. If you organize yourself well, you'll have a great time. If you don't, you may actually have stuff that goes severely wrong, which is all part of educating on the channel. In the same way you'll find in other channels, they'll have a showing of what they do, or how they live, where they're visiting and stuff like that. It's more about showing a part of their life. Now, don't get me wrong, there's some of the channels that are actually purely out there for money. And even then, I would look at it from this perspective. Nothing is forcing you to watch it. Do you sit and write a complaint to Fox News or whoever, Fox Media Group or whoever, um, that they're showing adverts between their TV channels? Of course not. Um, but also, I would say the YouTube is sort of taking over from that in the sense that probably more people spend time on YouTube than they do watching TV shows these days. I know I do. Um, I can't even remember the last TV show I watched. I do watch some movies, but I've got very little interest in it these days. Um, so the point is, it's a new genre. It's a new uh, era where people have moved from radio to TV and now it's going online and advantage with YouTube it can be very specific and very niche um, you can actually just pick it what you want rather than getting a newspaper and going there's nothing on tonight you can actually get on YouTube and go I want to watch about the history of World War two you find the hundred videos on there some of them conspiracy theories some footage some whatever the point is the YouTube system is giving people what they want when they want um, I would actually say that people should get a bigger share than what they're actually getting um, I would actually say that 
it doesn't hurt anybody who what people are doing even the stuff that a certain individual does about hating everybody else um, doesn't really bother anybody um, because although he does all that stuff he's actually boxed himself in in many ways so because eventually you run out of hate to give people because it then starts regurgitating because you haven't actually developed anything yourself so that's why I would say some people make money but are they making big money the answer is no not for the majority even the ones that are making reasonable amounts I would say are putting a lot of time and effort into it so is it wrong to do that I would say no if you begrudge somebody doing something different and getting on with their lives then maybe you should set up your own YouTube channel and try and make money yourself um, because there's nothing stopping you doing it. it's very easy to criticize others um, but I'm very pro in okay well show me what you can do you know because sometimes I watch stuff and I go that was crap but I just close it and don't bother going back again in the same way if I find anything good I'm quite happy to share it thanks for watching